this week we are in Scotland. Currently we are at the Loch Ness, which is this incredible lake. And I thought that I could just take you guys along for the time that we are in Scotland. We are here for four days and we are here for a long weekend. It's beautiful. We've always wanted to come to Scotland and I thought it was just thought it'd be fun to visit. And so it's been fun to check things off of our bucket list and this country is no exception. So um, we're going to kind of take you guys through what we've done, where we've been, where we've eaten, what we've liked, and what you should consider if you guys are planning on coming to Scotland, especially Edinburgh. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel for more travel content, lifestyle, nutrition, my life abroad in Poland and all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, show you guys Scotland because it is certainly one heck of a country. We are finally in Edinburgh and this is the rooftop of our hotel. You have the castle there and then just all of these incredible buildings. It looks like we have a graveyard down here. It is beautiful. The sun kind of came out as you can see. It's obviously getting more towards dusk but we are very fortunate to not have it be pouring rain. And I think it's beautiful. We're very happy to be here. And I just can't believe this is our rooftop. This is stunning. Once we landed in Edinburgh and checked into our hotel, we decided to make our way over to get afternoon tea. So this is something that I had already booked about a week before showing up in Edinburgh. And to get to afternoon tea, we just walked downtown um, from Old Town to the New Town. So afternoon tea was at the Ivy. I would highly recommend this place if you guys are in Edinburgh, whether you're looking for afternoon tea or just a nice place to eat. It was beautiful. And across the street from the Ivy, you had this amazing park. And you can see all the flowers blooming. It was about 13 degrees Celsius when we were there. And so it was just really nice to just kind of walk around after afternoon tea, let things digest a little bit and just kind of explore and take it easy. As you can see, it was just so beautiful and so green. And so we kind of meandered our way back to the old town and just kind of wandered around for a little bit until we decided to find a pub. We ended up at this place called the Beehive Inn. So we had afternoon tea and then we just walked around for like three hours. It started raining really hard. So we got into this like cute tavern slash restaurant. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Yeah. Very fun. Our food just arrived, so we got a mac and cheese, garlic bread, and a side salad. And yeah, it is currently 8 p.m. We're enjoying the views. So we're going to just dive into this guy and see how it is. It is the next day and we are at breakfast and we're just gonna enjoy the beautiful buffet before we head out. Oh my gosh, everything looks so good. Hey guys, good morning. So it is Saturday and we are currently getting ready to head on a day trip. So I booked a day trip to Loch Ness, Glencoe, as well as just driving through the Highlands. It's a 12 hour day trip. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. We got in yesterday, as you saw from these previous clips, but then today we are going to be doing this whole day trip. And I feel like these day trips are a great way to really see so much of the country and, um, to have someone else just drive and take you around instead of us having to rent a car and do all of that. So I'm really excited. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and it's a 12, like I said, it's 12 hours. So right now it is 7:40, and the tour is at eight and we'll get back home probably around 8 PM and then back to the hotel and all of that. So it's going to be quite the day. I'm really excited to take you guys along and yeah, let's go see the Highlands. This is our first stop of the day. It's like a 30 minute stop at one of this little towns. I think it is so cute. It looks so cute everywhere. I'm obsessed with these buildings. So we're just gonna walk around for a little bit and then get back to the bus. This place is really cute. We're here for coffee. The outside is also really cute too. And the views are really nice. I mean, it's so quaint. We are at our first stop at the Highlands. This is apparently where they start. It's very cool, very beautiful. Much colder up here than it was down in Edinburgh. 
It is lovely. Next stop, Loch Ness. So as we were driving through the highlands, we were trying to wake our May up north because we're going to Loch Ness. So as we were going up to Loch Ness, we passed through Inverness, which is this beautiful, cute little quaint town. And oh my gosh, I just loved it so much. And then we arrived at Loch Ness and we got so lucky with the weather. Can you believe how beautiful and sunny it is? Yeah, me neither. It was amazing and it was really beautiful to see the lake and all of the nature surrounding it. Scotland is so stunning. We are at this hotel now with Loch Ness. There was an option to do a cruise on the Loch Ness River or on the lake and then go to a castle. I get incredibly boat sick, so we decided to skip that, which is very unfortunate. So we are just going to sit here and have some lunch. And that just looks really good. The sun is out, which is incredible, and it's 13 Celsius, which is so warm. But that's the plan. We're just going to sit here for the next hour and just hang out and enjoy the view. Lunch is served. We got a steak pie, some fries, and peas and carrots. So I'm going to try to combine these guys all together because that just looks so good. So we're just going to split this because it's a lot of food. And we're just going to have the best view. And I'm really excited. So this is what they call a fizzy juice. And it's very popular here in Scotland. It's the urn brew. I have no idea if I said that right. So basically it's like an orange, people say like it's an orange soda, but they all said it has a unique flavor. So we're gonna give it a shot. I'm very interested in this because I'm not an orange soda person and I don't usually drink soda, but when in Scotland, you do what needs to be done. So here we go. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> wow, that's like nothing I've ever experienced before. It's like, There's definitely a hint of orange. <laughs> and it's sweet, but it's not really that sweet. I don't know. It's like the strangest thing. It's good. Don't get me wrong. But it is really strange. Um, but, I mean, if you're here, why not give it a try? So right as we left Loch Ness, it just started pouring rain. As you saw earlier, it was so beautiful and sunny. And literally the second we got on the bus and drove away this rainstorm came out of nowhere and oh my gosh it was insane the roads were really windy so we were going pretty slow and you can just see how cloudy and rainy and magical it looks outside i'm so glad we weren't out inside out during this weather because oh my gosh could you imagine but it was really beautiful to see how much the scenery changes and i'm really glad that we got to see both sunny and rainy it just makes Scotland so wonderful we are at the commando memorial now just kind of stop before we get to Glencoe. And this is the tallest mountain in the UK. It's very cool. And this is what the Commando Memorial is. You can read about it and pause if you want. Our final stop on this tour was Glencoe, and there's a lot of Scottish history at Glencoe. We got to learn a lot about it while we were at, with our tour guide, and it was very fascinating. And then we just made our way down south to Edinburgh. It was a 12-hour day, a long tour, but I would highly recommend if you are in Scotland. Hey guys, it is the next morning. It is Sunday, and we are just exploring the downtown of Edinburgh. As you can see, beautiful sunny skies, not a cloud in sight. And right now we're currently at the Gree Friars Graveyard. So it looks really cool. They have this memorial to this dog and apparently he sat by his owner's grave for many years and they have a statue erected for him. So I love that and people can bring sticks to honor the dog. It's very cute. So anyways, we're gonna just wander around and explore a little bit. Some people may think it's strange to go to a graveyard when you're visiting a new city, but this one was just so majestic that I had to visit. I would definitely recommend coming if you happen to be in the area. We have made it to the base of Arthur's Seat. I think we gotta go all the way up there. So we're just gonna keep going. But it's a beautiful day. And we are excited about this.
and stopped here for like a drink before dinner tonight. So he got a beer and I got this citrusy kind of drink. It tastes so amazing. So we're at this cute little bar and then we're gonna go to dinner tonight for you. It's gonna be great. We ended the night with dinner at Brown's, and I would highly recommend this place if you are in Edinburgh. It was delicious. The food was amazing, and the interior was incredible. So if you're looking for a nice dinner, definitely check it out. And then just on our way home, we ended up walking through the Old Town. You can see how beautiful the weather was. Man, we just super lucked out. It was absolutely stunning. Last morning in Edinburgh, we are packing up, getting our stuff, and then we are going to head to the Edinburgh Castle and probably a museum before we catch the tram to catch our flight. So we'll show you guys a little bit around. It is really rainy and cold today, so not too bad for our last day, but let's go ahead and get going and see the castle. Unfortunately, all of the castle tickets were sold out today, so we are doing plan B and hitting up the National Museum of Scotland. All museums in Scotland are free and open to the public so we're just gonna head over there get out of the cold I think it should feel pretty good so I definitely didn't record anything from our day in Edinburgh, but just basically we spent the time at the museum and then we just got the tram to the airport. It was very rainy and cold this day, so we pretty much spent all of our time indoors. And yeah, that was our trip to Edinburgh. We ended up at the airport a few hours early, so we just got to the lounge and relaxed. I would highly recommend the lounge if you are able to make it. We are back from Edinburgh. It was a wonderful trip, as you guys can see. We absolutely loved it while we were there. So I hope this video gave you guys a bit of insight into what Edinburgh is like, where we went, what we did. So if you guys are planning a trip to Scotland, I really hope this video was helpful for you. Again, please feel free to share this video with someone who is going to Scotland. Or again, if you are having a trip planned to Scotland, you're needing inspiration. Hopefully you found this video helpful. So again, all of the information will be in the description box below of where we went and what we did and what we saw. But thank you guys again so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Again, here I talk a lot about travel, nutrition, pregnancy, anything related to my life overseas. So I'd love to have you guys stick around. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in, in my next video.